Hello and welcome to back to my channel. I'm Bunny Cakes, as you know, unless you're new here, in which case, hello and welcome. Um, so today I am filming a new video. Um, you'll notice you're much closer to me. I didn't feel like doing my usual setup, so you're actually directly on my desk with me today. Um, the video that I plan to make today is a review for the book You by Caroline Kepnes. Caroline Kepnes. <laughs> um, this is a book that's also a Netflix show, and I wanted to read it before I actually started watching the show. I'm late to the boat on both, but here we are. <laughs> so this book, it's a book that I'm reading for the Magical Readathon for my owls, and um, it's it's for my divinate one of my divination owls and it's um when i very first started reading it the first couple of chapters i didn't like it like chapter three i looked at my fiance and i was like i don't like this book like at all except for i kind of do and i had to stop and take inventory and figure out what it was and it turns out it's not the book i don't like it's the narrator the character and then as i was thinking about it it's because you're not supposed to he's disgusting um and then after after i accepted that i fell in love with it i couldn't put it down um i read it in just a couple of days and uh i mean it's it's amazing and it's awful and disgusting at the same time He's, uh, the character is so well written. It gave me a very, um, Prince Joffrey type feel. Like, I hate him and I'm supposed to. And it also has me worried about watching the show because I don't know if the actor is going to be able to act well enough to stand up to what I expect after reading the book. I do plan on later after I watch it and everything to come back and do like a comparison video to see um, and talk about how I felt about both the book and the TV show and what the good parts and bad parts are of each of them. Um, so this one is very much an unreliable narrator book. Um, because the, the main character and also the narrator is, he's a psychopath and a narcissist and a stalker and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and it follows, it's basically kind of written like a, a unsent letter to the object of his affection in the in the book and um it's really kind of amazing i uh i'm trying to think of how to talk about it without spoilers um now i will say that in this book there are spoilers for other books <laughs> um it's also written you'll you see name drops for other characters or not characters other authors and books they talk about Stephen King's Dr. Sleep they talk about Charles Dickens and a lot of other big famous writers and um and they talk about the Da Vinci Code that's the book that's got some semi spoilers in it uh, because he reads that book and they talk about it in detail um there are some bits about the mental health that she mentions about OCD that feel a little off. Um, and then, of course, there's a therapist in it and his behavior is also off, but that's because I think it's supposed to be. Um, and, it, I mean, it was just, it was a page turner. I couldn't put it down. I, I finished almost 50% of the book the first day I started reading it 
And then um, the only reason I didn't finish it yesterday, which for me was Friday, um, is because I was just so tired after work and anxious about having to go out shopping the next day that I couldn't focus and I couldn't sleep and mostly I couldn't focus. So I didn't do any reading and I also, um, as you know, I didn't film a video to post on Saturday. Um, but I will talk, uh, chances are you've already seen my reading vlog, so I'm not going to go into that in detail because for you, I already will have, I'm just filming this video first because I wanted my immediate reaction to this book to be filmed first since I literally just finished it and posted it on Goodreads and then I brushed my hair and put on a decent shirt and some lipstick so I could film this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely a good read. I cannot wait to get a hold of the second book. I checked on my online library and there are 50 people ahead of me to get Hidden Bodies, which is the name of the second book. So that's going to be a while. And, um, even if my library were to open up tomorrow, my physical library doesn't have a copy. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to buy it on Amazon and have it here in a couple of days, or maybe buy it off of thrift books where it will be astoundingly cheaper, most likely, and get here in a couple of weeks. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. We'll see, and you'll know, because if I read it, I'll review it. And I'm thinking I might want to read it before I watch the series, so that I can just go ahead and binge watch the two seasons that are out without risk of spoiling the books for myself. Um, but, yep, it's a really good book. It The ebook was 426 pages, um, which isn't a terribly big book, but not also not a very short book. Um, the the character the main character was well written his interactions with the other characters in the books are well written well well written Ooh, I'm making up words um and also uh just some of the interactions are amazing there's a couple of twists and turns that I didn't expect with at least one of the characters and um there was another twist that I was looking for that never happened, and I'm not quite disappointed about it, but I also kind of wanted it to happen. You know how that is. Um, but yeah, great read. Um, for me, it was a very quick read. It's, it's just a fast-paced book. There aren't really any slow moments in it. There's always something happening, and I think I would also more than just a, a moving forward, like a future book to see what happens next. I think I would also like to see her put out a book about more of his past because reading the book, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's just the time we're looking into. Um, so I kind of like to s learn more about how he got here and the times it's happened in the past and that sort of thing. Um, and also, uh, as I was reading it, I was thinking, um, I'm wondering if Caroline Kepnes just has an epic level imagination or if she has been stalked like this before, or, I mean, sometimes it gets so real. I almost wonder if she's been a stalker, but probably she's not. Um, I do know she has written for a couple of TV shows before, so she's an experienced writer, and um, I haven't read anything else of hers, but from this one novel, she seems to be a really good novelist for this type of thing, um, these quick pace, what happens next type of things, and you get enough detail for the most part. Um, and you get really invested in the characters. Everything seems really well developed for the type of story it is. Um, it's one of my highly recommended books. Probably one of my favorite books this year. I don't know if that statement will stand um, the test of time. We're early in the year. 
but right now it's definitely definitely one of my favorites um but that's pretty much all i have to say about that book right now so i'm going to go ahead and end this and then go film my <laughs> my first week reading vlog for um the magical readathon which you will have watched yesterday <laughs> um so we're bouncing through time it's gonna be fun um so with that thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe if you like my content i'm trying to put out daily content and bare minimum um if you liked this video please hit that like button it helps out the channel and also helps me determine what content that i'm putting out that you guys prefer all right awesome so thank you so much again and have a great rest of your day bye-bye